This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. What's up, everybody? I'm Seth Fowler, and today I went sneaker shopping around New York City, which is the best place to go sneaker shopping, in my opinion. The first place that I stopped was the Foot Locker on 34th Street. There's actually two of them, but this is the flagship store closer to Penn Station. They usually have a pretty good selection of stuff. As you can see, they had the Flyknit ones, which in that colorway are actually really clean. They always also have a pretty solid Jordan selection. They always have stuff that lingers a little bit longer than usual, like this pair right here, the UNC 11s. It's surprisingly dirty. It must have been there for a long time. If you notice that a lot of sneaker stores, if there's a white pair of shoes, they get dirty really quick, and when they've been sitting there for a couple months, they start looking like that. They also have this navy and gum pair of SF AF1s, which I actually really, really like, and eventually, if these ever go on sale, I might pick them up because I think they're super clean. They also had the Wheat Air Force One Lows, and the material quality isn't as nice as I would like. You can't really feel any of the texture, but it still looks good. I also saw the NBA AF1 Low Pack, which doesn't look too bad in my opinion. It's not really my taste, but it's not bad. I was looking at the yellow colorway here, obviously, but they had a couple different other colorways. Next, I hit up the Jordan Basketball Wall, and they do have a really good selection of Jordan and, and other performance basketball sneakers. I, of course, checked out the Air Jordan 32. It's a really solid performance basketball shoe. This colorway is really clean. I just don't like the materials they used on the heel of the shoe. I checked out the LeBron Wall, and of course, the LeBron 15s are so dope i think that colorway is so clean i actually picked up a pair of those to do a review on so in a couple days you'll see that coming out but i love the ashes colorway i think it's so clean also they had some kds and pg1s this pg1 in the black and gum colorway is pretty nice um it's a little too muted for me i feel like with lifestyle shoes i really prefer minimal shoes and things that are a little bit simpler but with basketball shoes i really like the loud and the crazy colors especially like these Kyrie threes which actually in hand don't look bad i didn't like them online but in hand not too bad of course, you had the Air Jordan 13s right here, which are super clean. I'm surprised this colorway sat because a couple years ago when they first released, there was only like one pair of these ever. So when they dropped like a general release version of the shoe, I thought it would sell out, but it didn't. Um, next, I hit up the Adidas section of the store, which is always pretty solid because they've got a great Ultra Boost collection. I mean, as you can see, they've got almost every colorway that's sitting right now. You've got the Parlays in both the blue and the white version, which is really surprising because I thought these were really clean sneakers. I actually ended up returning that pair, but the blue pair I kept and I wear all the time. They also had the ATR Mids, and this is the tan colorway that I have. Super great shoe. I wear it in the rain all the time. It doesn't let much water into my foot at all, which is really nice. Of course you have the Dame 4s which are a really interesting shoe. I'm not too sure how I feel about that traction pattern. It doesn't look like it's going to work too well but you never know with Adidas basketball shoes. They always seem to work really well so maybe it's going to be a solid shoe. Who knows. I hit up the NMD section next. They have some pretty decent stuff. This black glitch camo colorway is actually really nice. It was something that I didn't expect to look as good as it did. It's not something that I really feel like I need to spend my money on. I'm kind of as of right now over NMDs but I think that's how everyone's feeling. Next, I hit up the Converse section, and they had the entire NBA basketball selection of shoes, which is really cool because they actually are made out of jersey material. Finally, at the Foot Locker store on 34th, I stopped by the Tyler the Creator Converse section. It's the Golf La Fleur, I think, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, these shoes are pretty clean. I really like the outsole of the shoe with that yellow and white look. It's a dope combo in my opinion. Next I hit up Nike Lab on 21 Mercer, and this is always a pretty solid store. They usually have a pretty decent selection of stuff that isn't sitting anywhere else. They had some really interesting new silhouettes that I've never seen before. I'm not sure what this sock shoe is. I don't really like it. It looks way too long, but it's interesting and it's different, so that's kind of cool. They also have the Zoom Fly NYCs, which I think are a really clean shoe. Not something I really need to spend the money on, but if I ever wanted to, they have a huge selection of them. Very cool looking shoe. And surprisingly, they had some of the Supreme Nikes that just dropped. I'm not even sure what the name of this shoe is. I think it's kind of trash in my opinion. I don't really need any hiking shoes, and I never really go hiking. Um, the pink colorway is not great. The black colorway is the only colorway I'd wear, and I just don't like the way it looks at all. They had the new SF AF1 Highs in all three colorways. This orange colorway is probably my favorite because it's so different and it's so loud and it's so out there, but I don't think I can ever wear it because it's, I mean, what would I wear it with? I have no idea, but it's an interesting looking shoe for sure. I really like the lacing system on these shoes. I think it's definitely a cool way of doing it. It gives it that more sort of honestly Yeezy like look, which I dig. Um, kind of more rustic, kind of like urban, I don't know. But I really like them, I really do like them. And maybe one day I'll pick up a pair, but I just don't feel like I need to spend 200 bucks on a shoe that I'm only gonna wear maybe once a month. 
They had the Ricardo Tichy Air Force Ones, and they look pretty solid. I don't think they're worth the price point, but they're not a bad looking shoe by any stretch of the imagination. I think that silver colorway is super clean. And then the surprise of the day was the Nike Hyper Adapts just sitting in my size, a size 9. I don't like this colorway too much, and I really don't like the fact that these retail for $720. But they are a dope shoe and I'd love to get them one day, but no way near that price point. They also had both colorways of the Air Max 1 anniversaries. They had the red colorway and the blue colorway. I think both of these shoes are super clean. Actually, it's funny because someone bought that shoe right out of my friend's hand and it was the last size right when we were holding them. So that kind of sucked, but it is what it is. And then they also had the Supreme hats. Um, they suck. I, I hate those hats. I'm, I'm never going to grab them. Next, I hit up the Adidas Soho store, which is more of their lifestyle store. They don't actually have any Ultra Boost, but they have a lot of NMDs, as you can see. Nothing too crazy, but sometimes they'll have a random shoe that you don't find anywhere else, like this pair right here. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure why they made this. I think it's trash, but it is what it is. They, of course, had the Pusha T EQTs. A pretty interesting looking shoe. I don't mind it. I didn't grab the other colorway that dropped a couple months ago, that silver colorway. This gold colorway is pretty clean, but not something I really need, especially not for 220 bucks. But not a bad shoe by any stretch of the imagination. Of course, I had to check out some of the 9317s. This is a shoe that I really regret selling the first colorway of because I think it was a great shoe and I just can't believe I did that. It's more of these weird boots. And then, of course, the NMD Winters. Um, I did a review on these. If you guys want to check that out, go for it. I didn't love the shoe, to be honest with you. Um, they also had these collaborations. I think they were the Wings and Horns um, on the NMD R2. It's an interesting material usage, but I just don't like the way it looks. I also checked out some of their more classic shoes. Of course, they had, I think these are the Crazy 8. Not a bad retro. They also had a bunch of the new Alexander Wang collection. Um, it's not really my taste exactly. I don't really love these runners. I think they're a little bit weird looking. The b-ball or basketball versions of the shoe are probably my favorite in the collection. I don't think you could actually wear them playing basketball, but of course I don't think that's their primary purpose, obviously. But not a bad looking shoe. I actually really like that colorway, that gray and tan colorway. This colorway too in the other version of the shoe is not bad. It's the only one I'd consider really getting on this silhouette. Um, but I just don't know what I'd wear it with, to be honest with you. I'm not like a high fashion dude, so I couldn't really pull that off, to be honest. And again, the last b-ball shoe in the collection definitely doesn't look bad in this black colorway, but I just don't need it in my life. Next, and the final place I hit up was Kith, and this is where the craziness happens, because if you scan this wall right here, you'll see this shoe, the Kith Mid Sitting, which is crazy. Apparently there was like a secret restock. As you can see, that kid right there is pulling out his pair and checking it out. Um, I was blown away that these were sitting and I had heard that there had been a restock like earlier last week and that it had gotten so like packed that they actually had to cancel it. So I'm assuming they were doing like secret drops maybe throughout the week. I don't know if there's going to be more pairs available later this week, but if you're in New York, check out Kith because who knows? I mean, I grabbed a pair like this is a size nine that I actually picked up. Like I doubled up on the shoe completely unexpected. This shoe goes for like 600 bucks on, I mean, StockX Flight Club. But needless to say, it's an incredible shoe. I love the colorway. I love the comfort of the shoe. I think Ronnie Feig and Adidas knocked this shoe out of the park. I think it's one of the best, if not the best, Adidas and Ultra Boost collaboration. I mean, I'm in love with this shoe. And the fact that I was able to double up both shoes for retail, <laughs> I can't get over it. It's insane. It really is. So guys, I can't believe they had these. That's f***ing wild. That pretty much wraps it up for Sneaker Shop today, though. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me on all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below. Still blown away.